Some problems with parallel lines require the use of something called an auxiliary line. An auxiliary line is a line that you add to a diagram that helps you to be able to solve the problem by recognizing some relationships that uh, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see. So in these two problems here we have parallel lines and we have this angle that is inside or in between those two lines. There's no way that we can figure out what they are uh, directly by adding or subtracting the existing angle measures. But what we can do is add an auxiliary line, an extra line, and the way we have to do it here is to draw a line that is parallel to the existing lines and goes through the vertex of the angle. Now when you do that, what it allows you to do is to separate the top and the bottom as if they're individual problems and work from there. I'll show you what I mean. Let's put the marking here to show that these are parallel to the existing ones. And I will need something to cover that up. I'll use this. If you cover up the bottom, what you'll see is two parallel lines and this line can be thought of as your transversal. This 60 degree angle and this part of the angle that we're looking for are corresponding. So they are going to be the same. And then if you cover up the top, you have these two lines that are parallel. This is your transversal. And you don't have a direct relationship here to that part of the angle, but we know that these two are a linear pair meaning this is 55 degrees and this angle corresponds to that part of the angle that we're looking for. So the angle is 60 plus 55 115 degrees. Well in a sim similar way over here we can cover up part of the diagram. This 80 corresponds to this angle so it's 80 and cover up another part, the bottom part. This is 150, that means linear pair with this one, it's 30. And this angle corresponds to this part of the angle. So that's 30. So all together we have 110 degrees. But this example is asking for the angle on the outside here, the big angle. Well all the way around in a circle is 360. So we can take 360 and subtract the 80 and the 30 that were there and that leaves you 250 degrees for this angle on the outside.